All right, let's shift gears and let's talk about our favorite topic as of late, and that is the Alaska 2023 cruise. We've uh, we our our group size keeps growing, man. We're we're up to just shy of fifty people now. Um, we've got uh, 14, 15 cabins worth of people. Um, it's it's great. It's growing so. Please, uh, if you're interested, let us know. Uh, shoot us a message. We'll get you added to the group. Um, I know I just added somebody today from uh, my post earlier this afternoon. So I posted it, and I posted it someplace else too. So we'll see. Hopefully, we get some uh, we get some uh, movement there too. Nice, nice. So what I wanted to talk about around the cruise specifically is. Uh, we, we started this on our last episode where we talked about uh, the uh, shore excursions, but I thought we would try and go about this a different way uh, and kind of look at it a little bit differently and talk about it from the perspective of um, where we are. So let's look at one city. Here are the options. And to go along with that, I figured let's talk about where we're going. Uh, and so here's and the, kind of the, and, and the weather. <laughs> yes. So so here's the itinerary uh, for for the cruise. Starting in Seattle, if you're watching, uh, you can see what's going on. If you're listening, I'll do my best for you. Uh, so so we're gonna leave for, out of Seattle, Washington, on Saturday, uh, April fifteenth of twenty twenty three, uh, at five p.m. And we're gonna cruise cruise all day Sunday. Get into Juneau, Alaska. Uh, Monday at 1.30 p.m. And one of the things I want to briefly look at, as you just said, is the weather. Uh, and, and this gives you the average weather in April for, for these different cities. So in Seattle, it's going to be 43 to 59. Uh, Juneau, Alaska ranges generally from 33 to 48. Then we head up to Skagway, Alaska, which is 34 to 49. We'll spend a day cruising around Glacier Bay, which is beautiful. Head over to Ketchikan, which uh, averages 36 to 50 degrees. Then we'll head back down into Victoria, British Columbia, which averages 38 to 55 degrees. And then back into beautiful Seattle. So uh, the Emerald I, City. <laughs> so I know a lot of people that, that <clears throat> are from Vegas <laughs> or from the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, these temperatures might be a little bit on the colder side for you. But I mean, that's this downright is, chilly, bro. This is nothing to complain about. These are in the 30s, mid 30s and 40s. Um, yeah, you're going to want to wear a coat when you're outside. But um, the the nice thing about this cruise is all the pools are heated. They warm that water up. They get it nice and and toasty for you. Nice and toasty. So. Uh, I, I am not too worried about any of that. I, I like those temperatures. That's warmer than the winter here. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so let's talk about our first stop, Juneau, Alaska, and uh, the different shore excursions that are available there. Uh, so what I have went ahead and done here is I've filtered this list down to just the shore excursions that are available or should be available for our specific cruise. <coughs> uh, and then I went ahead and sorted them by price. And some of these we've already talked about, so we probably won't spend a ton of time. Uh, I've included all activity levels, one, which are for lazy people like me, all the way to level three, which are for people that like to do uh, rock climbing and stuff like that. So <laughs> they want to go on a real adventure. Yes. So, um, so we're going to go through these, uh, the, there's, there's quite a few of them, but we're not going to go through every single one. Um, so the Teku Glacier Adventure by Air, Water, and Ice, we talked about this on our last, last episode. Yep. It's $849 per person. Uh, it's three and a half hours. Uh, it's kind of cool because you get to fly, you get to be on a, a watercraft and you get to, uh, be on land. So, um, you know, kind of cool. You get to go to a glacier, get to get right up on it to where you can like literally reach out and touch it. Um, but uh, that that's quite expensive for my tastes. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, next up is a dog sled, dog sled and glacier adventure by helicopter three and a quarter hours for 800 bucks. Um, we talked about that one too. We talked about it. Dog sledding on a, on a glacier via helicopter. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, helicopter glacier trek. So this is where they fly into the helicopter and you get to hike around the glacier, uh, climb a glacier wall, stuff like that. Um, yeah, four and a four and a quarter hours for six hundred and fifty bucks. <throat> that seems like too much work. Yeah, uh, this one kind of is a little bit up my alley. Helicopter glacier walkabout. They basically fly you to the glacier. Uh, you get out of the helicopter and you can walk around on it and take photos and stuff. Yeah. Um, that that one seems a little bit more in line with what I'd want to do in that regard for mm-hmm. six six hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah. So still kind of kind of pricey, um, yeah. you know, because you you figure a lot of the people out there ha- are are either couples or you know have kids and um, you know you're getting that fifty dollars per room shore excursion credit, but uh, you know at six hundred and twenty nine, and then you've got two people, uh. That, that's pretty expensive. That's, you know, 1300 bucks basically. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a pilot's choice glacier exploration. So you get to fly around in a helicopter and then the pilot decides where they're going to put down and let you walk around. The pilot's choice. <laughs> uh, we talked about this one, which seemed kind of cool. A self-guided Jeep tour. Uh, you get a four-door Jeep. And this one, the price is per vehicle, so it's five forty nine. Uh, now you figure you've got four people in the vehicle. Um, not so bad, one hundred and thirty seven twenty five per person. Um, let's say, let's say we did that one, right? You mm-hmm. and me, your brother and my wife, right? So it's five forty nine. We've got a hundred dollars of shore excursion credit between the two of us, right? Mm-hmm. So now we're looking at four forty nine. Split four ways, 113 bucks uh, per person. That's not bad at all. Yeah. And then we get to drive around and check out different things like gold panning and checking out glaciers and stuff like that. So uh, that's one I definitely think for the price could could be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's not many of them that are like that where it's price per vehicle. Yeah. And then right after that, we have the self-guided tour two door. So this is if you want to go out, you know, maybe you're just a couple and you want to go out, um, you can save yourself 20 bucks and uh, get a two door Jeep. Yep. Next up, we've got the uh, <clears throat> Teku Glacier Lodge Flight and Feast. Well, it said feast. So now we've got to read this one because it's yeah. food. <laughs> food. All right, here we go. Seaplane only access to Alaska's famous Teku Glacier Lodge combines classic powerful aircraft, true wilderness, five massive glaciers, bears, vivid history with dog sledding routes, seafood, and exclusive glacier view dining. Mm. You're in for the journey of a lifetime. Fly in a classic de Havilland seaplane over five breathtaking glaciers flowing from the Juneau ice field deep blue crevices, snow-capped mountains, and the lush Tongass National Forest. Seeing glaciers from the air is the Alaskan must. And doing so by authentic Alaskan bush plane is the quintessential Alaskan experience. Hmm. Uh, that that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, oh, and here, so here, savor all you can eat Feast of fresh wild Alaskan king salmon, grilled to perfection, a Ooh. chicken alternative, teku baked beans, coleslaw, pioneer fruit compote, fresh herb biscuit, and sourdough bread, all made from scratch. Drinks are chilled and served with actual glacier ice. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Uh, How much is that one? This one's four ninety nine per person. Oh, so this one's some money, um, but you get a fifty minute flight uh, to fly around and see all the stuff that it, that it's mentioned, uh, and then you get to go to an all you can eat salmon bake. 
Uh, Feast. <laughs> ah man, that that yeah, one that, that one's got me. That one's got me tempted, and that's a level one. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, we got the Mendehall Glacier by helicopter and guided walk. Um, so basically, same thing: fly fly in a helicopter to a glacier, <laughs> walk around. Walk around. Uh, luxury whale watching. So That's you what go, you talked about that one before. Yep. Uh, glacier seaplane exploration. Uh, so this is basically just fly around in a seaplane to look at at uh, some stuff. Yeah, that's a forty minute flight with no uh, salmon feast for three forty nine. <laughs> so you could save yourself, you know, one hundred and fifty bucks if all you want to do is just fly around and fly see around. stuff. Yeah, nah. Now this was one that uh, is somewhat interesting and it's a level three. So obviously I don't think I'm going to actually do it, but I thought it was interesting. It's a Mendehall Lake kayak salmon bait combo. Oh, oh yeah. This is, yeah. Cause it was the kayaking part. That was the, yeah. So you, you get to, uh, how do they describe it? Uh, after departing from the pier, you will enjoy a picturesque drive to pristine Mendenhall Lake, which lies just north of Juneau in the Tongass National Forest. Soon after arriving, you will ease into a two-person kayak and begin paddling across the lake's crystal clear water. You will find that the kayak is remarkably easy to navigate. Yeah, right there, I'm like, uh, that's that's kind of the... I don't know if I'd feel like uh, kayaking across an entire lake. Right. Um, <laughs> like, I need to see this lake and I need to know exactly where we're going so then I can determine, yeah, I could do that or nah. Yeah, because here's where it starts to sound like, oh, man, that could be fun. Your destination will be the Mendenhall Glacier, one of dozens of glaciers that make up the Juneau Ice Field. While you will remain a safe distance away, you will certainly be close enough to behold its staggering beauty. And the reason they don't want you to get too close is because I'm sure you've seen these videos of boats going up close to glaciers and chunks of them falling off and these boats topple over. And, so oh, they and probably... I, haven't, I haven't seen that, but oh, I, can, yeah. I can imagine. So next up, along the way, you may spot Arctic, ter Arctic tent turns nesting along the shore, eagles soaring overhead, and black bears and goats up in the hills. Kayaking past Nugget Falls is another highlight as it cascades into the lake next to the glacier. Here's, here's my favorite part, though. Next, you drive to Gold Creek Salmon Bake for a scrumptious Alaskan feast. The dishes typically include fresh salmon grilled over alderwood, Parmesan chicken, Tongass wild rice pilaf, au gratin potatoes, and baked beans with reindeer sausage. No, just give me that food. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, can I just meet y'all over there? Yeah, just just you know, let me let me drive around there. Let me drive over there and then I'll meet y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 300 bucks. Next up we've got a whale watch and salmon bake. Uh you go out on a little dinghy. I think we talked about that one before. Yeah. That's 279. Uh Mendenhall Glacier Lake Canoe. Um, this one's interesting because it's a it's a big canoe where it fits fifteen to twenty people at a time. Oh, is it like the the canoes at uh, Disneyland? On, uh, yeah, Rivers of America. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's three and a half hours for two sixty nine. This one's kind of is there food <clears throat> involved with that one. Uh no, nah, never mind. <laughs> So this next one uh, is uh, Juno Sports Fishing. So this is a five-hour uh, excursion. Uh, this four-hour boating adventure is aboard a 26 to 36-foot fully appointed cabin cruiser setting sail from Ak Bay Harbor. You'll be trolling and utilizing downriggers to set lines at a range of depths to optimize your opportunity for catching various salmon species. You'll be greeted at the ship and join fellow anglers on your boat with up to six guests. Lucky anglers may have their catch locally processed to their specifications and shipped for home for an additional charge. Please bring $20 cash for fishing license and $10 cash for King Salmon Stamp. Hmm. 
So uh, that one's kind of cool because if you catch some fish, you get to keep it, yeah. which we talked about on some of the other ones we saw where you don't. Yeah, um, catch and release. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. If you catch some king salmon, they'll process it and send it to your home. That's that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I like the extra 30 bucks. So it's really two ninety nine, not two sixty nine. dollars Yeah. <laughs> Unless you have, I mean, unless like you already have that license, but I'm sure you still have to get something for salmon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so next up, you've got uh, whale watching in Mendenhall Glacier Photo Safari. Um, that's a five hour, $259. You've got uh, Whale Quest and Orca Point Lodge, five hours. Hmm. Um, that does involve some some food. Oh, well, in that case, all right. <laughs> uh, this one sounds kind of interesting. Alaska's Whales and Rainforest Trails. Rainforest? There are rainforests, yes. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's a five-hour for $249. Um, it does not appear to involve food, though, so let's move on. <laughs> if it doesn't involve food, I'm not about it. Next up, discover Alaska's whales, <coughs> three and three quarters hours. Um, am I guaranteed? Then, am I guaranteed to see whales? That's all I wanted to know. Like, uh, I know they, you can't. I know I they can't guarantee it, but at the same yeah, time. that's the thing. I don't think they can. I don't think they can guarantee it. Um, <laughs> let's see, Tracy Arm Fjord and Glacier Explore. It's a five hour for two hundred fifty bucks. Fjords. Fjords. Um, yeah, nothing really, no, nothing food there. So let's move on. Uh, this was one that I think you, you might have been interested in. Dog sledding summer camp. Oh, yeah. What's that one? So this is two and a quarter hours. Uh, join us on an excursion where you learn about Alaska's official state sport with a trip to dog sledding summer camp. Your adventure begins on the breathtaking drive along Gastineau Channel through the historic A.J. Gold Mine site and into the remote and scenic Sheep Creek Valley. As you arrive at the, Hummer, at the summer camp training site, you will be greeted by a professional dog musher and some of the state's most famous athletes, the Alaskan Huskies. You will receive an educational tour of the camp, visit a 19th century replica Iditarod outpost, and enjoy fresh-baked cookies. Mm, Next, climb aboard a comfortable wheeled cart and relax as you as your energetic Alaskan Husky team guides you along the one and a half mile trail through beautiful landscapes. You'll return to dog sledding summer camp for your chance to meet the dogs and snuggle the next generation of great Alaskan athletes. Sled dog puppies. Nice. <laughs> this family-friendly excursion is truly an authentic Alaskan experience. Nice. <clears throat> so, you know, for those with little ones or even those without, th this could be a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, next up, Alpine Zip Adventure. So this is zip lining. Ooh. Uh, it's a level three. This is three and a quarter hours. So some of the requirements that's important to know here, mm. participants must be at least eight years of age, weighing a minimum of 70 pounds and a maximum of 250. Not, advertise, not advised for those who are pregnant, have an extreme fear of heights, or any severe medical conditions. Mm. Well, you must, must be able to walk up 50 stairs, stand for a long period of time, and be able to walk up to 100 yards of uneven surfaces. I can do that for zip line. Cool. Well, this course consists of seven zip lines, ten platforms, and an aerial suspension bridge. The lines vary in length and height, ranging from 100 feet tall to 800 feet long. So that's uh, that's some zip in there. Yeah, that's 219 dollars. Oh man, uh, I might have to. I kind of want to see the puppies, but at the same time, I might want to do that zip line. Calm down, Jerry Lawler. No, I'm not talking. <laughs> not talking. Because I, I like the, I like to see the sled, the dog sled thing. But I think they have, didn't they have that at a couple other, like at another stop? 
Yes. So yeah, then maybe I could uh, maybe I can do the zip line and do the the dog sled thing at another spot. So next up, you've got the Mendehall Glacier and Whale Quest. Uh, this one's only two oh nine. You go out on a boat and look for some uh, whales. And this one says, if you don't see whales, you'll receive a hundred dollar cash refund as you disembark. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so uh, they're they're uh, the operators of this tour guarantee you will see a whale, at, at least a whale. So yeah, <laughs> if you it don't might see... not breach, you might just see it in the water. If you don't see a whale, you get money back. But if you see a whale, you don't get money back. <laughs> yes. Yes. Binoculars and Sylvanir route maps are provided along with complimentary snacks and beverages. So, that's on the whale tour? Yeah. So that's 209. So that that's, you know. You get free binoculars? Oh, you get free binoculars? Uh, I don't think you get to keep those. I think oh. the complimentary part was the uh, snacks and beverages and oh. a Sylvanir route map. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I'd be kind of dope if you got free binoculars. <laughs> yeah. So this is pretty much the same exact thing, except it's an evening whale quest. Uh, right. So it's about the same length. Uh, so I'm guessing they go out twice. They probably have a morning shift and an evening shift. Yeah, I don't uh, know if I'd want to go at night. I mean, I get, I don't know. It might be nice at night, but I kind of would like... Wait, is it... Oh, I guess it's still dark. Is it dark out or is it starting to become more light? Uh, it would be becoming more light. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got another whale watching. Um, so these next two are pretty much the same thing. One in the daytime, one at night. Um, same deal. A hundred dollars cash. If you don't see a whale. <clears throat> um this one even specifically says, uh, don't expect the refund because for 10 years plus, there's never they've never had to issue the refund. <laughs> uh, so in all come, likelihood, if you come out here thinking that you're going to get your money back. Think about so it. much. Don't think about it. Uh, next up is a Mendenhall Glacier River float. So this is where you get a paddle raft and uh, head on out there. Uh, okay. It's three and a half hours. Was that 189 that's two that is a two yes huh. uh more more sled dog discovery and mushers camp this is uh two and a quarter hours for 189 bucks it's a level one uh you could see kayak adventure no thank you no thank you uh oh hey here we go bike and brew glacier view oh okay all right, should we do this one? Yes, sir. All right. This is a four-hour uh, excursion. Experience the beauty that surrounds Juno with friendly local guides. On the van ride to the departure point, hear about Juno's history plus interesting information about the city. You'll be fitted with a disc brake bicycle, helmet, and water bottle, and you'll receive a safety briefing. Your first stop is by the Chapel by the Lake, a lovely old log chapel with a spectacular view of the Auk Lake and the Mendenhall Glacier in the background. Your ride continues to the west of the Mendenhall Glacier with a beach stop for a short break. You'll then proceed to the visitor area at the east side of Mendenhall Glacier. This portion of the ride includes a one-mile trail ride through the rainforest. At the end of the ride, you'll have a chance to spend time admiring the glacier. The ride covers approximately eight and a half miles on a mostly flat road with some rolling hills. Next, travel by van to Merchant's Wharf, an old seaplane hangar in downtown Juneau, and a landmark in aviation for a taste of award-winning beers and from microbreweries around Alaska. I like that. $159. I definitely like that. So if you if you feel like doing some biking, that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's that that's and plus like the I like the uh, the micro brews and stuff. I, I'd like to try again. Yeah. If I didn't have to, if I could just, can I just do the beer part? <laughs> right, take me to the end. Let me go. Yeah, some beer. I mean, but I, I mean, like definitely, like the bike ride would be something that could be be a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Uh, next up, we've got Mendenhall Glacier Adventure Hike, level no. three. No. <laughs> Uh, how about here's a level one for you? Mendenhall Glacier and Salmon Bake. Boom. Oh. Straight up just all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have me at salmon bake. <laughs> yeah. So this one, uh yeah. Travel I'm... through Juno's downtown to the Mendenhall Glacier, stroll the many walkways or enjoy the visitor center, then board your motor coach for a trip to the Macaul Macaulay Salmon Hatchery. Your hatchery, so you, now you get to see where the salmon are hatched. Uh, then you get to go eat them at the Gold Creek Salmon Bake. Wild Alaskan caught salmon is grilled over an open alderwood fire. Enjoy baked chicken, baked oh, beans, wild rice pilaf, and a variety of fresh salads, cornbread, blueberry cake, and lemonade, coffee, or tea. Beer and, wine, beer and wine are available for additional charge. How much is that? Dine beside Salmon Creek. Uh, Give me a price. 149 About that life. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, that I, could be that could be good. That could be the one. Or this one could be the one. Historic gold mine panning and salmon bake. Oh, okay. Wait. Tell so this price. one, this one is an all-you-can-eat salmon bake. Oh, tell me price and tell me more. All right, catch gold fever on this panning adventure where you where gold is guaranteed. You'll mm. walk in the footsteps of Joe Juno, who strike at Gold Creek, set off the Alaska Gold Rush 130 years ago. Your prospector guide will provide a short city tour and lively narration with tall tales of the Gold Rush era en route to Gold Creek. Only if, he only if he talks like this. <laughs> the original spot where gold was discovered. Your expert prospector will demonstrate gold panning techniques and you'll be off to the gold fields to strike it rich. Not only will you get to keep what you find, but you'll also get a gold claim certificate. Nice. Then savor an all-you-can-eat Alaska salmon bake, including side dishes and dessert. Roast marshmallows over a campfire, enjoy musical entertainment, and walk the trail to the waterfall and the remains of the historic Wagner mine. You can shop at the trading post for Alaskan goods. 149. Now, was that dude's name <gasps> Joe Juno? Yes. Jeez. Uh, next up, we've got the Mendenhall Glacier Hatchery and Gardens. Yo, no. Uh, Mendenhall Glacier and Juno Tram. So this is one of those big sky bucket things that they fly up on, you know, lift lines, basically. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't involve food. Nah. But, but you do get to stop by the Raptor Center. Oh. I like that idea. I know, I know you want to go see some raptors. Uh, birds, Menden, birds of prey. Mendenhall Glacier and Gardens. No. Mendenhall Glacier and Hatchery. Nah. You, 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 you don't get the food, but you get yeah. to go look at the salmon. Nah, I'm cool. I, I want to eat them. Uh, historic gold, gold mine and pan for gold. So everything that we Minus talked about a minute ago, less the food. Yep. <laughs> oh, hey, this one's pretty good. An hour and a half. Uh, just the salmon bake. Oh. So this one, uh, it says a short narrated bus ride brings you to the Salmon Creek, the outdoor site for your salmon bake. Listen to live Alaska folk music while you dine under translucent heated domes, shielding you from the elements. Enjoy an all you can eat feast, savor Alaskan wild caught salmon, barbecued over an open alderwood fire. Yeah. So it's basically just the salmon bake. Okay. <clears throat> as long as I hear some jewel while I'm there. <laughs> uh, next up, the Mendenhall Glacier Explorer. This is three hours. It's a level one. Sounds like you basically just get to drive around Juno. And, and lastly, the Juno Tram. So just taking the tram uh, up 1,800 feet above the city. Oh, wow. Um, 50 bucks. How much is the, uh, how much is just the salmon bake one? $100. Oh, that's, yeah. 
So that is everything there is to do in Juno. Um, so I, I think there's a, a lot of fun stuff to do there. Man. Um, I definitely think a salmon bake is going to be somewhere in my future. I, I will say that a lot of the stops have salmon bake. So keep that in mind. You're not yeah. going to want to do a salmon bake every day, right. um, but I do think it's our first stop. So I'm probably going to want to do a salmon bake on day one. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just like, cause I, I'm kind of, t- I like, I want to do, there's a couple of different things I want to do. Like the bike ride sounds dope for the beer. Uh, the, um, the zip line thing sounds amazing. The dog sled thing. I know they have. So the nice thing is, I know they have dog sled at a couple. Uh, I know a couple of spots. They have zip lining at a couple different spots. spots. Okay, so I so mean, it's basically you, what do you want to do where? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm super excited for this cruise, and uh, the more and more we get closer, the the more and more I'm getting hyped up, and I know we're still a year out, but um, man, yeah. Let's go. So sounds, sounds like a lot of fun. So yeah, no, definitely, man. This is uh, this is exciting. I'm, I'm, you know what? And this is a good thing that we're we're talking about this stuff now. Get your get your mindset. Get your mindset. A lot of adventures to be had in the Alaskan wilderness. 